Did you ever get the feeling when someone was telling you something that you intuitively knew it already and were really just being reminded? Did you ever get the feeling when someone was telling you something that you intuitively knew already and were really just being reminded? I would probably think it would nullify my career. Did you ever get the feeling when someone was telling you something that you intuitively knew already and were really just being reminded? In Tamworth, the sensible, panoramic vision soon disappeared as I returned quickly to the vat of drugged wine that was my real life. The strong attitude that always pervaded when I was in London, surrounded by people who needed answers, it left me as soon as I boarded the train at Euston Station. I could not maintain a clear head. I could only reflect and theorise. Less than one year before, my world had been enormous. I could go wherever I chose. I'd been pulled screaming and kicking around the globe. But now my world was shrunken and deflated. Tamworth was my world, in a tiny house, spending my days with toys. I'd left the seeding masses outside and found myself a new and fascinating land in which to focus my obsessions. I had taken a dive from enormous macrocosm to tiny microcosm, a huge and breathtaking 35,000 feet leap out of a plane and into a glass of water. These enormous metaphysical images pervaded my life, and this new stage made little sense to me. I needed to give it reason, and if I could not give it that reason, there was just no use staying around. It also occurred to me that my situation was becoming increasingly like some metaphysical poem by John Donne or Andrew Marvel. I felt as though fate had left me at the corner of the world and was still deciding what to do with me. Metaphysical poetry is like pre-psychedelia. It takes the mundane and puts it on a pedestal and I badly needed some kind of pedestal, no matter how much of it was my own making.